Hello my planner pals and welcome back and if you're new here thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Karma Design. Today we have a requested video and it is to give you some ideas of how to use leftover stickers and specifically from sticker sheets because when we have sticker books like this one and you only have a few left you still have stuff that kind of coordinates together because you know that all of this stuff in here coordinates these tips will work for sticker books as well but they're specifically more aimed for sticker sheets so yes let's get into it so if you have just a couple of sticker sheets left in a book or you've got like an odd assortment of stickers or if you're like me and you go to like Dollar Tree and stuff and you pick up the little kid stickers and stuff like that these this will also work for these and the war decals as well there are two types of leftover stickers and I know it sounds a bit weird but you've got your decorative type which I would consider these like decorative because they've got like the llamas and stuff on them like these are decorative you can't write on them you can't write on them. you could write on this but this is gray I'm not gonna write on that it's gray so you could write on this one. This one would be more functional slash decorative, but these are mostly decorative. These are functional because so these are just the boxes that are left over. So those are the two types of stickers that you'll find in your books. Basically the ones that are making the page look pretty and the ones that you're going to write in or point to something or something like that. So here's how I use leftover stickers or the other again I'm trying to give you a, like a other options or match war decals kids stickers post-its like other stuff like how do I use them and the first one is if you're doing something like this regardless of whether it's the decorative or the functional think about black white gray neutral foil and all of those things because even though I have I have black in here I have this red this red and this yellow are going to be really hard to find an exact shade match so even though they look similar they're not gonna quite match you might be okay with that that would drive me bonkers so again think about your black and white think about your gold boxes gray you can even bring in your align book and stuff like that gold see how the gray matches and it doesn't have to match with this gray you can take this gray off and just match it with the again the pinky red the black the gold the yellow but it also kind of goes with these so you can have a little pop of color in your leftover stickers in your leftover stickers and just match it with something a little bit more neutral and basic or your foils all right tip number two is going to be to look for books like this which is your rainbow book thinking about your red you could even get away with doing pink with that pink and the yellow there is a yellow in here as well so you could do that too thinking about your more color based books typically the rainbow book and stuff like that or your colorful boxes those work too all right the other thing that you can do with your leftover sticker sheets is grab some washi in a core again a coordinating color it doesn't have to be an exact match to this because I can use this grid would be a great one. I've got a black, a black grid. I could use metallics. I could use anything. Or I could try and make one of these kind of fit, fit the shade. But yeah, think about using some washi as an addition to your stickers. So this next tip is just for like your functional stuff. It could work for these, but it's a little bit harder to get them to work for decorative. But just for your functional stuff, if you have some colorful boxes like this, and I only have these like few left, what I can do is I can print out or buy some 
floral, some black and white floral designs. Mix that with those and I am golden. So again, this is from Dollar Tree. It's just the, I think it's like the shelf liner type stuff. But you can print similar things on Canva. So yeah, just have a look on Canva for some like black and white florals or something that you can change to black and white florals and you're good and you're good. Now, the other thing that I will say is if you have spare things like this, what you can also do is save them. I know that sounds completely ridiculous because you may not have a, a use for them now, but you might have in the future. Case in point, I saved these from a spread that I did last year. They're like little mermaid sticker, like 3D stickers. I took the 3D stuff off. Can you see that? These are a perfect match for this kind of um, sagey color here. So I can use all of these sage boxes with her. And then I'll only have the red and the blue, which let's face it, red and the blue, red, white and blue, 4th of July. So that's how you can kind of mix and match things. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can color match things on Canva. Again, you just need black and white stuff. Again, you've got black and white in here, you've got little black bits in here, you've got little black bits in here. So I could just add some black boxes to this, golden, done. If I wanted to do the shades, I've got a couple of options if I wanted to really kind of match the color shades. I can take a photo of this and import it into Canva and then use the color picker to get the color. If I have a scanner at home, I could scan it and then import it into Canva or I can print out, if you, don't, if you don't want to go through all of that hassle, you can print out. And what I do is I will typically do a sheet. I'm just giving you an example because I haven't been on Canva today, but I will typically do a sheet and I will create little circles and I will choose a different color. Let's say I'm trying to get this yellow. I will choose a yellow here and then I would choose a yellow that's slightly darker, a yellow that's slightly lighter, a yellow that's, you know, more darker, a yellow that's more yellow orange or yellow green. And then I will do like slightly different shades. I'll print it. Okay. Which one of these is this yellow? Okay. Let's say it was this one, but it's still not quite right. So then I create another set. I put the same piece of paper back in my printer. I don't want to waste paper. And then I'm like, okay, it was this one. So now I take this one and I do it slightly lighter, slightly darker, slightly different shade, slightly different shade, slightly different shade, and I, I play with it. But that's a way that you can do that. But just make sure that you're creating a new line each time so that you're printing on fresh white paper. So that's how you can do it in Canva. There is no easy way to, to really figure out other than scanning it in. And even then, quite frankly, sometimes even the scans offset the colors. So yeah. And remember that what you see on the screen, so even if you are holding this up to the screen, what you see on your screen versus what prints out, two different things, <laughs> two different things. All right, so that's how we can get some use out of our leftover stickers. I'm going to give you a couple of little suggestions of how you can use just the few little bits that are left over. You can use them on daily sheets. You can use them in your journal if you just want a few stickers in your journal. I like to use them in my monthly. If I, I only have a few left like this, I'll use them in my monthly. If I only have a few left like this, I'll use them in my monthly because I know that I don't need a whole bunch of stuff in my monthly. If you have a to-do list and you just want to make it a little bit pretty, you can just put that in the corner and then you're good, right? You don't need a whole bunch extra on your to-do list. Those are four more tips on how you can use your leftover stickers. All right, I hope you enjoyed this and it gave you some use of how to use just the few little bits that are left over. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye.